usually people over the age of 18 don't even get commotio cordis. It's most common in the youth, ages 8 to 18, most common in boys. And as you mentioned, the sports like the baseball, the hockey, lacrosse, even martial arts, a blow to the chest can do it. But I really want parents to know that they should get CPR certified or at least familiarize themselves for if this happens to a child. Because on commotio cordis is being named as a possible cause of DeMar Hamlin's cardiac arrest episode on the field Monday night. So it's caused by blunt force trauma to the chest and it affects the heart's electrical system. Let's bring in now Dr. Frida Fisher. She is certified in pediatrics, nephrology, and internal medicine. So Dr. Frida, first of all, tell us more about what commotio cordis does to the body and what it is. Hi, Arthel. Commotio cordis is really an unlucky event the front of the chest has to be hit at the exact location and at the exact precise time in the cardiac cycle to cause the heart to all of a sudden stop beating properly. It goes into an abnormal rhythm, usually ventricular fibrillation, where the chambers are not pumping blood effectively. You no longer have blood flow to the brain, the liver, the kidneys, the organs. You pass out and you can die, especially if an AED is not used immediately or CPR. Well, thank goodness, in this case, it, it was a means, uh, an AED was uh, used immediately, as was CPR. Um, <clears throat> but we see these uh, miracle, miraculous pictures of uh, Damar and his family sitting there. He's holding up the love sign, which we're so happy to see. As we said, we have all, all have love for three. Is it the fact that he is so in shape? I, I'm not so sure, but you tell me you're the doctor. Is this what also helped, uh, apart from the immediate attention that he got? Even the most in-shape person, Arthel, if that heart stops beating effectively, within yeah. minutes, you can die. And so beyond being in shape, which certainly doesn't hurt, the fact that the team acted so quickly, started administering CPR within seconds, it seems, and that CPR allowed for some of that oxygenated blood to still flow, and then certainly having that automated external defibrillator. For every one minute that you go without the defibrillator, which is what gives a shock to the heart, to shock it back into a proper yeah. rhythm, for every one minute without that, the survival rate can decrease by up to 10%. And so youth is on his side, but really, he just seems like a blessed man who had the right team there for this very wrong event. He, he is a blessed man. He lives right, for sure. He and his family, you can tell that. Um, and you mentioned the AEDs. I, we interviewed uh, Gail Benson. She's the owner of the New Orleans Saints and the governor of the New Orleans Pelicans. And she um, has, in, in her organizations, they've donated almost 70 AEDs to several uh, facilities, sporting facilities in the New Orleans area and in Jefferson Parish, which is an adjacent uh, county. I mean, excuse me, parish. And uh, so that was, you know, as you're just saying, this, the importance of those AEDs on hand to start that electrical force to the, the defibrillation to his heart. So, but according to the, an AMA study, Dr. Fisher, uh, on commotio cordis, baseballs are the biggest culprit. We have a pie chart at 61 percent. Then you have softballs at 16 percent, hockey pucks, 12 percent. So footballs, they're not even on this pie chart. So why, you, you know what I mean? So why, we, we, the question is, so you just said it was just an unlucky timing, being at the, the, the right spot at the wrong time. I mean, is, is that the only explanation as to why this happened and caused Damar Hamlin to have a heart attack? Unlucky, because usually people over the age of 18 don't even get that, get commotio cordis. It's most common in the youth, ages 8 to 18, most common in boys. And as you mentioned, the sports like the baseball, the hockey, lacrosse, even martial arts, a blow to the chest can do it. If indeed it was commotio cordis, which has not been confirmed, it's just something that seems to be likely, then yes, it means that the interior portion of his chest, that left ventricle, was hit at the precise time in the cardiac cycle to cause him to have this abnormal rhythm. Now, we still need to find out if he has some type of an underlying cardiac condition, not as likely, but a possibility. Like you may have heard of sometimes kids playing b basketball may all of a sudden drop and have cardiac arrest, sudden death. Yeah, so that's a possibility. But I really want parents to know that they should get CPR certified or at least familiarize themselves for if this happens to a child, because again, it's most common in, in adolescence, and to always know where those automatic, automated external defibrillators are located, because it's right. not difficult. It's made for bystanders. Thank you, Dr. Feeder Fisher. Love for three. We'll be right back.